Are you ready for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ? The greatest prophecy in the Bible is not far from fulfillment. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Are you ready for his return? Someday soon, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, life will be suddenly changed for all of us. Events unspeakably strange and startling will occur with amazing rapidity. Speeding trains will plunge unsuspecting passengers into a black eternity as Christian engineers are snatched from the throttle. You, you, you must you, take the A train you, 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 to do, 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 go to Sugar Hill way up in Harlem. Do, 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 do. Housework will be left undone because Christian maids have been promoted to higher realms. There will be broken homes, with fathers missing from some. Babies snatched from others. missing from others, drinking, murder, gambling, wars and rumors of war, that's the joyful side of it Christian, but there is also another side of the picture, a tragically sad side. To think that some will be left to go through unspeakable torment. Your son, perhaps. Or your daughter. Your husband. Your wife. Your closest pal your fellow worker, your neighbor, for then shall there be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. You think the world is seeing tribulation now, war, famine, pestilence. This is nothing compared with what shall be then. The sea will become as blood of a dead man, and all life within it will die. Rivers and fountains will be turned into blood. Men will be scorched with great heat. be covered with noisome and grievous sores. The islands of the sea will fade away. There will be lightning and thunder. And a great earthquake, such as was not since man was upon the earth. Are you ready to pass through all these horrible experiences and then go on to a black eternity? You, yes, you must take the A train. Bad A train, bad A train. To you make it on time. Go to Joker Hill way up in Harlem. Harlem. To some, it will mean joyful relief from suffering and pain.
from weeping and sighing, from heartbreaking poverty, Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Remember that after the rapture, there will be no more opportunity to pass out tracts. To preach about the Lord Jesus Christ. to give to missions. To pray for the lost. Are you ready for the Lord's return? Will he find you busily engaged in fulfilling his purpose for you? Redeeming the time because the days are evil? Living your life for him? Will he find you watching and waiting for his return? Christian, are you ready for his return? Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Are you ready now to accept the Lord Jesus as your Savior, and be caught up to meet him in the air when he comes for his own? How do you become one of his own? But as many as received him, them gave you power to become the sons of God. Praise be to God for his mercy toward the children of men. Heaven's door is still wide open. Won't you enter while you may? Won't you heed the words of the Lord Jesus when he says, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Won't you accept him as your savior and there take your place among those who will someday pass through heaven's door into the beautiful city of gold.
Your commentator is Joe O'Brien. Here is the motion picture record released by the United States Navy of the havoc wrought by the Japs sneak sky and sea raid on Pearl Harbor, America's mid-Pacific naval bastion. On December 7, 1941, Japan, like its infamous Axis partners, struck first and declared war afterwards. Costly to our Navy was the loss of war vessels, airplanes and equipment, but more costly to Japan was the effectiveness of its foul attack in immediately unifying America in its determination to fight and win the war thrust upon it and to win the peace that will follow. The storm breaks in full final fury on the German Rhine. Swiftly exploiting successes, three American divisions smash into the battered heart of Cologne. The ancient cathedral looks down through blind staring eyes upon a great city torn to shreds, smashed into ruin, but still defended by fanatics. Here is the beginning of the vengeance visited on a people who carried terror and destruction to others without reason. The German Tiger tank is hit. The daring combat cameraman films the scene as the Nazi crew scrambles out of its flaming interior. Cologne is taken, its wreckage symbolizing the certain expiation of Germany's crime. Suddenly the world is thrilled with the news of a startling achievement. A bold spearhead of Lieutenant General Courtney H. Hodge's First Army captures the Rhine Bridge at Remagen. The startled Nazis react with desperate efforts to destroy it. In the meantime, a pontoon bridge is thrown across the river. When the Remagen Bridge is finally knocked out, the First Army's communications are secure. The final mission of the great bombing fleet. All remaining key rail and communication centers are ripped to shreds. The great assault in force on the Rhine barrier comes with the crossing of the river by the British 2nd, Canadian 1st, and American 9th Army. Winston Churchill insists on a personal invasion of Hitler's inner fortress. Now the airborne avalanche. Down upon the embattled right, 40,000 men leap to disrupt the German war machine in front of the great allied Rhine bridgehead. From other transports come ammunition, food, medical supplies for the airborne army. The once rigid framework of the Western Front has been sagging for weeks. One sharp blow brings it crashing down and the disintegration of the German Wehrmacht begins. Here, for the first time, the American Army's secret rocket launchers are seen in destructive action. One of the many prisoner of war camps overrun. An American officer shoots the lock off the gate, and the sight of Yank soldiers lifts the hearts of these captives. General Eisenhower personally visits a German terror camp at Ordo to see its horrors with his own eyes. General Patton is stunned by the ghastly evidence, evidence of bestiality that civilized people will never forget. 30 miles east of Berlin, Russia's Katusha rockets suddenly flame into action. The first white Russian army group, veterans of Stalingrad, drive from their bridgehead on the Oder toward Berlin. Marshal Gregory K. Zukov directs the smashing attack. The military grand strategy devised at Yalta is now in full operation to squeeze the life out of Germany. An historic moment arrives when the American and Russian armies make contact on the Elbe, 75 miles south of Berlin. 
U.S. Major General Reinhardt crosses the river in a racing shell as all bridges are down and boats in this area have been seized by terrified Nazi soldiers and civilians fleeing from the Russian army. General Reinhardt and Major General C.R. Hubner meet their Russian alliance amid happy fraternization between Ivan and G.I. Joe. Now the mighty American tide rolls into Nuremberg. The Seventh Army holds the review where Hitler's great rallies were held. Here, thousands once gathered to bellow Sieg Heil when Hitler screamed. Now the vast expanse is empty except for three American soldiers who have a job to do. Watch the symbol. Executive Committee of the United Nations Conference at San Francisco, Secretary Stettinius presiding, considers resolutions for the World Security Organization as Europe's war ends. Molotov of Russia, Prime Minister King of Canada, Evett of Australia, and Anthony Eaton of Great Britain join in the session. Victory in Europe re-emphasizes the task of building an effective world organization. Dedicated to that task, the United Nations chief delegates rise for a moment of meditation. North of San Francisco at the huge Boeing aircraft plant in Seattle, Washington, American workers also stay on the job. Hearing the good news of Germany's surrender, these men and women completed an extra B-29 super fortress. They cheer the great bomber on its way to blast Japan. From now on, the only target for United States military might. For the end of that trouble I see Bull rocking check it said Judgment day is here Came to my rocking chair Old rocking chair got you by the way. And my cane by my side Yes, your cane by your side Now fetch me that old gin, son Ain't got no gin by the For I tan your hide now You're gonna tan my heart You know I can't get from this old cabin What cabin, Jogan? And I ain't going nowhere Why ain't you going nowhere? Well, just sit me here grabbing Grabbing At these flies around this old rocking chair Rocking chair And now, old rocking chair gets it, son Rocking chair get it, brother And judgment day is here Your judgment day is here And I'm chained to my rocking Old rocking chair Boom, 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 boom Boom, 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 bo